Hi everyone, it's me, really Perfection. <clears throat> Before we deal with that, we're gonna need some uh items. Inventory management. the key it should open the menu you do know the key the key so we're gonna hack the gates Check the gauge to see the type and number of virus cores you need to hack the gate. If you have all of the necessary virus cores, you can fill the gauge and hack the gate. After hacking the gate, the virus cores you had will be gone. Once you've hacked a gate, that area will be open to anyone. Do you understand? Hmm. There are some ethical implications here. There's a high risk of people... Sorry, there's a high risk of people actually wandering into this area, and you know, uh, maybe they'll encounter scathe, become comatose. That wouldn't be a uh, good. You know what? Fuck it. There must be some... But, uh, now that, uh, I've completed the mandatory tutorial, I'm gonna go to a lower level area and, uh, get Mia and Elk some levels because, uh, He's only level five. Elk is only level one. Oh. So yeah, we need to give them some levels up before we go to a uh, level 10 area. <laughs> I will be right back. Oh, 
All right, so uh, we did some leveling up. Mia and Oak can now survive a level 10 area. This is a night area, so the Spring in the Mist can upgrade both weapons and armor. Depending on what you give it, of course. between us. With the weapon of this level, there's nothing I can do. Go to a level much more difficult and ask Grandpa. In consolation, take this. Till next. So yeah, if the Spring of the Mist uh, is in a weak area, it'll give you the, your regular equipment and a silver axe and golden axe, which admittedly sounds useless. However, some people in the game do uh, collect gold and silver axes and give you some pretty good equipment for them. So there is the. In the interest of saving time, we'll go directly to the dungeon. So let's see, let's talk more about the Doc Hack franchise. For the purpose of this, we're going to talk about Doc Hack Sign. Doc Hack Sign is about a, a player in this game called Tsukasa. He is trapped in the game by a mysterious force. And he's made to want to be there by uh, a malicious AI giving him control of a guardian creature that does whatever he says and can kill anything. And by a cat NPC whose name um, starts with M and is rather insane to pronounce. Uh, 
It's called, I think its name is Maha, but it, it's like M A C H A. However, not everything is as it seems. He can't log out in the game, and his real body is in a coma. In the end, uh, Tsukasu is helping friends to unravel the mystery, or at least part of the mystery that concerns him. He is able to log back out of the game. And uh, the cat NPC he meets also defects and helps him out. But there is a cost. Uh, the cat NPC is killed. And what we see now, Mia, is the reincarnation of that NPC. She is obsessed with aromatic grass because uh, Tsukasa gave her some aromatic grass. If you haven't seen that hex sign, I recommend watching it. I think it's on Amazon Prime or on Hulu. Although I think Hulu only has the uh, sub translation rather than the dub. The dub is pretty good. I prefer dubs to be honest because when I'm watching TV, I don't like reading. a magic portal, data bugs will show up. If you data drain those bugs, you can get virus cores from them. There has to be a reason why you have that bracelet. You will go there to find out the reason. The reason why I have this bracelet? Now here's how data drain works. There are, there is the hit point bar, but there is a hidden bar called uh, protection points. When you get somebody, when you get a monster's protection points down, you can data drain them.
Now, of course, some monsters uh, don't lose protection points unless attacked in specific ways. Some will only lose protection points when they're attacked by magic, and others when they're attacked by physical attacks. This may become important later. This bracelet so yeah, that's uh, to my the basic gist of Mia's character, and uh, I don't care what happened to you in the past. And the uh, basic data bug fight mechanics. But I am interested in what you are going to do with the bracelet in the future. Well, that's about it. If there's anything I can do to help you, I'll try my best. Thanks. There's no need to thank me. I'm just doing what I want to do. Hey, Mia! And I also gave a bare bones rundown of Dot Hack Sign. I avoided most spoilers. But I recommend going watching it. How we go do that right now? I'm gonna end the video. Have a nice day, like and subscribe.